In this video, we are going to see how to export from a real engine into another two really important and free and open source application, which are Blender and Armor Paint. Now you can see that this mesh here looks a little bit different in um, Blender here and in Armor Paint. Well, this is because each software has its own rules, but they all look similar in uh, the end. So let's see how we can do all of this together. Now, the first thing here you can see it's a Unreal Engine scene. So I've already uh, started a new project and I have imported this from the Unreal Engine marketplace. And let me show you how to do Now, you probably have used before Unreal Engine, but there could be uh, a lot of you guys that don't know how to use or how to actually even install Blender and Armor Paint. So for you guys, for the less expert, you can go into the YouTube channel, JBDTube, which is this channel here, and you can search for Blender install if you want to know how to install, download and install Blender for free. And also same thing for Armor Paint. Now Armor Paint, it's a little bit more difficult to download and install. Uh, you can also use Marmoset, which is um, not free, but it's similar to Armor Paint, and also uh, Substance. Substance is the best one, I guess, from Adobe, but it's not for free. So Armor Paint is basically the free version of Marmoset and Substance, and it's a little bit painful to install, but we are publishing a video guide about this topic. So look for it into the in our channel with the search button, you will find everything you need. And if you don't know even how to install Unreal Engine, you, we have a video guide for that as well. So just search for Unreal Engine install. And that's it. Now this is just to start. So if you want to do the same exercise that we do here, you need to have installed Unreal Engine. So you need to go to Epic Games Launcher and download and install Epic Games Launcher. You need to go to Blender, download and install Blender. And you need to go to Armor Paint and you need to download and install Armor Paint. That's it. So once you do all of this, and again, if you don't know how to do, check the guides, then you're ready. So first of all, let's uh, run the launcher, the Epic Games Launcher. So here it is. I'm going to click here on the icon to open up the launcher. And I have already installed Unreal Engine, of course, but if you didn't, click here and install the latest version of the Unreal Engine. And also, you can go to the marketplace. This is where I found this scene. Well, actually, these are characters. It's not an entire scene, but this is where I found this. So it's everything. It's from Unreal Engine team. So thank you, Unreal Engine. Thank you, guys. And here in the marketplace, you can check for free stuff by clicking here on the free. And you can also, uh, if you want to see the Epic Games content from the Epic Games team, you can click here. And also, this is really interesting. It's called Meta Humans. We did another video guide for this because it's really amazing and hyper realistic, the humans. So check that as well if you want. Now, when for this video, i chosen to download some really not heavy stuff, but something um, fast to download. So if you go to free and get here in the search tags, you can search for low poly. So this will show you the things that are not so heavy. And this is where I found these uh, quadruped fantasy creatures. You can see here I own this but you can also download other stuff if you want. My suggestion is to do this particular exercise. Don't download something too big and too heavy. You can also search here, for example, like characters. They have some really amazing characters for free to download and test, but you can do this later. Just start with something simple and not so heavy. Okay, once your download is finished, you should check here if it's finished, basically. Otherwise, it will continue to download until it will be finished. You can also close and open up again the uh, launcher. And once it's finished, you should find this into your library. So 
in your library there's your latest Unreal Engine Editor version and your projects and down below you have everything you have downloaded so far so you can see I have downloaded many scenes here uh, these animal packs and other stuff here entire scenes entire worlds interior architecture whatever so let's do for example with this other pack here now you you have two options you can download it and directly add it to your project or you can do this later once it's finished to download so for example i say okay add this to a project and let's add this for example again to my project right here so i would say add project there you go now it's downloading well actually i have i am downloading this right now so i will not show you this one but the previous one so if i sh if i go here and you say this uh, fantasy creature add to project let's add it here and this is well let's pause this well, let me close this so it's adding this stuff into that project but this is i already download this so it's quicker it's faster there you go it's inside now all i need to do is open up the project okay now we are inside this template third person template and we are going to bring in some of these uh, things so if i go here quadruped creatures i will find four folders for each of the creature let's say i want to play with this uh, mountain dragon here so you can see i have different folders and here is my mesh in the mesh folder so i click here and i drag it right there so if you are not new to unreal engine you will probably do this every time if you are new that's it it's so simple you just have to drag and drop and everything it's inside there the model and the textures now what if i want to uh, put this model into another software perhaps to change the texture work a little bit on the model itself if, if i want to change it create another one use this as a base or whatever you want to do now to export you need to do basically two operations the first one is export the 3d model the second one is to export the textures so first thing let's click select the model that you want to export go to file and say export selected otherwise if you say export old gonna export everything okay now let's create a folder for this so right here i have this uh, folder i will call this dragon all right double click and export this as dragon and this is an fbx file you can also export in obj for, for uh, other software that use obj and not fbx but fbx is the probably the most used and diffused and also stl if you want to print this in 3d with a 3d printer okay so let's save this and the first part is done now just select a version of fbx let's say i want to use the 2020 version and let's keep everything just as it is i don't want collision basically collision are useful when you are in unreal engine not to don't go through the object but when we do other stuff we don't need collision for example if you want to sculpt or paint or model this we don't need collision at all so we, we don't export that for this purpose and we don't need also this uh well we don't need also the level of details so let's export all right that's the first step now if i go to blender let's start with the blender with a new file here file new and say general don't save delete this and say just import file import fbx now make sure that in Blender if you have FBX import export activated. If you don't have it, go to Edit Preferences and search for here the in the add-ons search for FBX. Sometimes it doesn't appear, so you must make sure that this is checked and it's on, so you can import and export FBX. Now you can import here this file from the folder 
where you saved it. There you go. Import FBX. And that's it. It's importing also like a skeleton, but we don't need that. That's for the animation. We just can work directly here on this uh, model. And you can see here, we don't have textures. And we have this purple color Y, basically because we need to define where well, it's basically missing the textures. That's the problem. So we need to export and reconnect those textures. So let's get back to Unreal Engine. And let's, well, we can do in many ways. We can export by just going into the folder of the textures here of this model. So we have to find out where the textures are stored. And once we locate them, we, we just have to export those. So right click, go to um, Asset Actions and go to export. Now you can export it outside Unreal Engine. You can also migrate them to another project. But in this case, we want to export. And we are going to export into the same folder. So we, we will keep everything together. Now this is the diffuse texture. And you should do this operation with all these different uh, channels if you want the best results wherever you go next. So if you go in Blender, you will see better if you have all these single textures and also in Armor, Armor Paint or other softwares. Uh, let's so export this stuff here. Targa is the format we are exporting. And uh, what's this? Uh, looks like another diffuse texture and this is an emissive texture so let's export this as well and we also have this ambient occlusion probably could be useful so let's export this as well and that's it okay now we go back to blender and what we need to fix here is the material basically now we are seeing everything purple because I think this is an emissive part of the material. So let's go here to the material. Now this is my material called um, Mountain Dragon. If I go here and switch to the shader editor, I can see what's missing. So let's place this like this. Now this is my central node. I need a texture here, a texture in the mission, a texture in the normal map. So let's bring this in how we do that simple just click on the folder and trace your texture so in my case it's in here there you go so first thing we need the i think it's called the albedo which is the diffuse another way to call diffuse well we don't know we don't we are not doing a metal so let's bring this metallic and specular down to zero and maybe we need the roughness but let's keep this probably at the top. And there's my emission here. So the emission, it's again into this folder. Uh, there you go. I think it's this one, illum illumination or something like that. And then the normal. So let's click here. And go to the same folder and that's the normal there okay i think we have everything but we can also add other texture if you want for example the roughness or ambient occlusion if we find the relative channel but let's stay with this simple stuff here let's go back to the 3d view and that's it now everything looks nice and textured there you go. So this is in Blender. Now let's check Armor Paint. There you go. So Armor Paint is basically the same thing as Blender. Just changes a little bit. You can see here it has also the, the material editor similar. So let's do a new project. Okay. And let's file and go import. First of all, we import the mesh 
it's gonna be our dragon here say import there you go so it's so fast it's amazing armor paint i think it's one of the most amazing tool and it's for free just if you want to give a donation for the development team that will be great so think about that and okay now we need to set the texture as well so we go to file and say import texture there you go so let's import the albedo first and that's it so it's kind of going there now that's my texture and this is the material here so if i double click i can see the material which is this one right now so let's get rid well let's bring this texture in like that and let's get this to this uh, base color and also we have here other stuff like roughness uh, normal emission as well so you you need to well actually i'm painting out this directly so it's one of the tools or yeah, i can just click and drag the material directly there so uh, then you proceed there i think we have a little bit of specularity too much here so you increase the roughness as well but you know you have texture for this so just connect the correct texture to the correct channel so for example here if i bring in the um, normal which should be this one so you click and drag the texture here and you bring this to the normal map so you we are gonna have more details and this is also similar into blender so if you want to bring in some other uh, thing you should go so we need we have the normal here so let's bring the well I don't know probably the roughness is the other one yeah the roughness so you just click and drag here that's your texture connected to the correct channel and that's it so you're gonna add all the texture that you want and this is again just an example in these two software which are pretty famous and again this is a totally free and open source you can use all these tools without spending any money it's just for you guys if you want you can donate a little bit to these uh, guys here, the Blender team, the, the Armor Paint team, and also Unreal Engine is completely free unless you start earning with your game and you then have to pay. And so this is all for this video. And please also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please support us as well. If you want by subscribing, check our other videos. If you go in the playlist, we have some really nice video courses. So you can check, for example, uh, like if you want to create characters, we also have a Madbox video course to sculpt and paint characters and do a lot of uh, design and 3D model and so on and texture baking, texture creating and so on. And if you want to support us, please go to the community uh, page here, copy and paste this link and send us just a little donation it will be really nice and we will continue to make more videos and video guys for you. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.